We've got the Tampa Bay Bucks heading to the Indianapolis Colts. And the line here, the Colts are a two and a half point dog at home, total of 51 and a half. Totally makes sense. The Bucks on Monday night just absolutely whipped the New York Giants. Uh, was not even close. And of course, the quarterback matchup here between Carson Wentz and Tom Brady is uh, not even close. Not even close. Uh, when I look at this matchup, I, I see a couple of different mismatches here. Right, Indy is not bad, but Tampa's offense is is number one in total DVOA. Indy's defense is top ten; they're number nine. But that's a that's a pretty sizable mismatch for me. On the other side, Tampa Bay's defense has moved all the way up to number seven in total DVOA. Indianapolis's offense is number eleven. I don't always trust Carson Wentz to be able to get stuff done. Last week, they were able to handle the Bills. Thanks to the running game and whatnot, I don't think they're going to be able to do that against the Bucks this week. And with that said, I mean, I'm going to take the Bucks minus the two and a half. It seems like an easy bet. Almost looks like a sucker's bet. And it might cost me. It might cost me. But I do like the Bucks here at minus two and a half. You get Tom Brady and those receivers in a dome. No weather. No issues. I'm all in. I am all in. Give me, give me the Bucks minus two and a half. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.